What's going on people? This is a quick rant and I haven't done one of these in a long time but I'm going to say it anyway. Can we please lay off Sandra Bullock please? Can we do that? Can we please do that? Because she has nothing to do with what's going on with Michael Owen and the two years. She's got nothing to do with it. She made the blind side years ago, okay? She didn't know anything about what was going on. She didn't know, right? She only read the script. She thought it was a good script. And she did the film in the story. How was she was supposed to know what was happening? Now, obviously, I'm doing this quick run because that it's emerged that Michael Owa, um, who is the um, uh, um, the guy who's at the centre of, of of all this um, debacle of what's going on between him and the two is the, the very people that's taking him in, and basically they had a, a conservative conservatorship much like Britney Spears. So he's they've been making business decisions without his permission or even his knowledge about it. Now, I'm not a, um, a, a lawyer or, or I'm not uh, practicing law or anything else like that. But you got to admit, though, uh, it doesn't look good. It's not a good look. And when uh, when that happens, right, all you're going to have is a complete wedge between him and the family. Now, the two E's have come up and actually been devastated. I mean, what's sad about it is that they're already rich. They're already rich. They've already made their money. But when you got a guy that, when you got a guy that's, that you're taking in and his life completely changed, but you make money off him. That does not make sense. Make it make sense, please. You can't do that. So, Oa is suing the Tuis right now. But now everybody's looking at Sandra Bullock as she, as as she's somewhat to blame for for all of this. She's got nothing to be blamed for. She has nothing to do with this. So, for the people that's tweeting and. Um, posting, saying that she's got to hand her Oscar back. She's not going to ha- hand her Oscar back. She's not going to do it. And she's come out and she's saying that she's devastated. Had she do- done some, had she, would she have done this with um, knowing about all this? Of course she wouldn't. I don't believe she wouldn't. But I don't know Sandra Bullock. I don't believe that she would do it. She's trying to do the best decisions in her career and obviously. We know that Speed 2 was one of them, but we don't know, um, we don't know, um, like, how she feels, how she truly feels until she actually comes out with an interview herself to explain how she feels about everything. She just feels, from what I've read, from the sources that's closest to her, that she's devastated because she was happy doing the film she was happy how it was put together. And subsequently, she won an Oscar for it. I mean, the film is a very good film. But the film is is now, now based on a lie. And I think, obviously, we're all angry about the situation. We're all angry in, in the way in which everything has come out. You know? But you do... We, you, we all know one thing here. Is that... Whatever you do in life and you get a um, a contract from a record company or a TV company or a film company or whatever the case may be, you got to sit down and read it. The thing is, I've watched um, a clip on TikTok the other day. And by the way, you can find me. I'm at Theo Samuels. I've watched um, 50 Cent give... Um, give um, this interview, and in it, he said that when everybody else was partying, I was looking at contracts. I may not know all the legal proceedings on how to do things or whatever, but he called his lawyer and asked his lawyer, basically, what does this mean? What does that mean? So he knew enough about what he's signing. I respect that, to be honest, because... It takes care. It it shows that you take care of yourself. The thing is, though, 
I always said this many, many, many times over. The entertainment world, the showbiz world is a very, very, very murky place. And if I was to ever get into that space, I'm making sure that I know what I'm signing before I'm doing it, you know, because it has to be fair. It has to be concise and it needs to be able to say to myself, OK, I'm going to be getting X amount of money for doing this, that and that. Right. And then I'll be reading the terms and conditions and actually say, OK, then can I agree to this? Can I agree to uh, Can I disagree with that? Can I? Um, can I walk away from work? Walk away from something if I don't feel comfortable with it. Blah 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 blah. And th that's why there was an actor that I read. Um, th there was a book. It was called Yo Le Letters to a Young Brother, and that was written by Hill Harper. He himself is an actor, but he actually practiced law. And I remember reading in that book whenever he does deals with with tv companies film companies whatever he reads it he reads that all that stuff so he knows what he's signing right it's smart on his part he just knows what he's doing if you're gonna get yourself into this whole thing now you you need to be able to read that contract end of story so i feel sorry for michael Owa, right because apparently he's not made um a lot of money from the film when he has a right to earn that money. I don't know what's going to come of this case. So I'm just going to watch this space and see what happens. But yeah, that's what I got to say on this one. I'm done ranting. People just need to just calm down, lay off Sandra Bullock. She has nothing to do with this, right? In, in essence, she probably knows as much as Michael Owa does. So, you know, that's that in itself, right? You just need to wind yourself back a bit because people are getting on her back for no apparent reason. She has nothing to do with this. Anyways, I'm done ranting. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe if you're new and like and comment below. Let me know what you think about the situation. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, peeps. Thanks for watching.